Well, good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live and uh, wanted to quickly speak to you guys about some things that are going on um, and also give you an update. I will be doing uh, tonight will be another disclosure over on our Patreon channel. And uh, this weekend, I'll probably be doing at least two more uh, disclosure videos over there and uh, different subjects. Um, I'm thinking about going into Kennedy as well. I don't know if I'll do that this weekend or not. Uh, I did have some meetings where we were talking about Kennedy. and um, But that's just a little interesting side note I thought I'd share. A good friend of mine, I knew uh, 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 Oliver Stone, uh, who made the movie. Actually, two friends of mine know him. Uh, John B. Wells is one of them, and of course another guy, a friend of mine in Washington, that uh, Oliver Stone was actually trying to talk to him about. Uh, the Kennedy assassination. But anyway, uh, I'm going to be uh, dis doing some more, like I said, disclosures on that. going to be sharing with you uh, this evening, we're going to be talking about the Enterprise, the actual international spaceship. It's actually part, it's, the United States is the main one behind the endeavor. Uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. I saw some uh, things online where they were uh, proposing to the to the government to build a, a, a you know, a real life spaceship like that and I'm thinking to myself do these people not even know that we actually have this technology already so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that how this thing works uh, what it's used for things like that so I thought it'd be kind of an interesting story for you guys uh, to share some of that information with you uh, but what I want to talk to you about right now and this is uh, rather than this being on Patreon I thought this is very important for you guys to be aware of this I, I've been trying to find out a little bit more about the storms and the storm related issues because I know that we're supposed to have some very serious hurricanes uh, this year. We haven't seen any as of yet really pop up, anything significant. I was asking why has that been the case? I would have thought by now we would have already seen a little bit more significant hurricanes already popping up out there. Um, from what I'm being told, they are trying using HARP to suppress uh, the development of these hurricanes especially in light of what happened over in Germany, the storm over there and the heavy flooding. But they said there's no way to fully stop everything. And uh, of course, when you're using HARP, you're also causing other problems uh, that have a kind of a cascading type of effect. Uh, but one thing though that I was enlightened more about is that the storms that we're facing, uh, the storms that we're facing right now, they said if you really begin to pay attention to this uh, when you're dealing with severe thunderstorms is the lightning the lightning is being combined not with normal lightning but we're getting some plasma effect of lightning involved in these storms and they said if you really begin to listen to the storms and we actually it's funny because I had the meeting late last night and then early in the hour, wee hours of the morning we had some major storms roll in and you know I don't know what to say. I mean, I've already been noticing it anyway, though, that whether it's just an increased amount of lightning or, or thunder or whatever, or just beyond normal, it seems like almost. But listen, you listen to your own self. I'd, I'd like to get comments from you guys to see what you think on that as well. Um, see what you're seeing, what you're hearing. But what I'm told, though, is that the sun and Jupiter, they're kind of like triggers for our climatic events that happen here on Earth. And we are absorbing so much energy from uh, even those two celestial bodies that our Earth is not able to release this, this uh, uh, energy back and it's getting trapped in the ionosphere, stratosphere, etc. And that's intensifying these storms. Well, that actually kind of made me a little bit more nervous as far as protecting the house as well. Uh, I know we have the MP shield for the truck, uh, and, and I know that uh, as you know, what, what you know, you can get it for your home as well. And I do have one for the house; I just haven't installed it. And uh, but then I heard, you know, after having that conversation, and then the way the storm rolled in last night, and I know the EMP shield is not just for electric magnetic pulse, but also for severe lightning strikes. Uh, and if you're dealing with plasma lightning, which by the way, those folks in Washington, they have underground bunkers they can go to, and they are anticipating 
storms that are going to have such massive plasma lightning in the future that it'll be detrimental for them to actually get to their bunkers. And one friend of mine is a half hour away from his designated zone, but he was told that he would never make it if they had that severity of a type of storm. Uh, that he needs to think of other uh, options uh, to protect himself. I don't know what the other options are. Uh, okay, I, I just really don't know the answer to that. But I will say this though, uh, I've always been big on people using the EMP shield for their vehicles, but after what I heard last night, you might want to seriously consider the home as well. And I have definitely got to watch the video, see how to install it and go put this thing on my house because I do not want to see the appliances, the air conditioner or something like that being blown up as a, as a result of some kind of uh, strike on lightning. If you decide to do it, don't forget though, INL50 will give you a discount. Use that code uh, and that way you can save 50 bucks on whatever you end up purchasing for your own needs. Anyway, thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. God bless you.